Bernie Sanders does these very elaborate live events. There's a ticker of donations. Very well produced. Very produced. Live they are events. cutting to a band that's playing. Like he's in a well lit background. Well, the Biden campaign decided, hey, if those kids over at the Bernie campaign can do it, we over here in the DNC establishment can do it as well. And so they uh, fired up their Zoom conference call <laughs> software. This is, this is the equivalent of Firefest to Coachella, if you're comparing Biden to, yeah, like, to Bernie Sanders. <laughs> uh, and so they promoted this, that uh, Joe Biden was going to have a big announcement on how he was going to lead during coronavirus and they... And it was going to be virtual, so no one would have to touch each other. It's going to be virtual. So <laughs> <laughs> they, they go no live. And, and what they have is the uh, corporate conference call from hell. Uh, <laughs> as their event. Uh, so it starts with... Uh, they start it early, so you can hear the audio people in the background doing audio checks. And then the staff There's becomes... nothing better than live broadcasting that sound check as it happens. The staff becomes frantic uh, when they realize there's a buzz on the microphone. And the reason we're telling you all this is is uh, Matt and Kyle have probably done more live internet events than it, most people outside of maybe the Sanders campaign. <laughs> and so I, I, I'm going to play a clip that uh, was on the No Agenda show this week. I mean, we're literally week. using a software yeah. system right to now do this. that's that would designed be yeah. for live broadcast just to record the multiple camera angles. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to play the clip from No Agenda Show that they cut because I couldn't find the full one online. There's other pieces of it. Uh, and then, uh, Matt Kyle, I kind of want your response on <laughs> a little bit of a breakdown. Yeah, you uh, got it. Before we get going, uh, if anybody from the Biden campaign is listening, it's called Sling Studio. Um, <laughs> it's what we use. Also, Switcher Studio is a great one. <laughs> yeah, as well. Matt or Kyle too. at Choose SDS. Yeah. Is, yeah. I mean, yeah. we'll consult. We're yeah, right. Telestream is a great option too if you're a little bit more sophisticated. My guess is that Telestream is what the Bernie Bird campaign Bird is. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Here's the clip. So this is the opening. <laughs> so you I know that crying was not. Uh, Mayor Pete Buttigieg it was, <laughs> so, in fact, an actual baby. Wh what you heard there is when they went live, this was Zoom. And so if you've ever been on Zoom, <laughs> the staff who was on their computers at home, I guess, who had unmuted mics, whenever oh, they talk, no. like the little screen would pop up and show them like next to Joe Biden's screen on the feed. And so there was a bunch of staff that didn't have their stuff muted. So you heard that kid screaming in the background and that screen pops up. And then you hear someone else taking a conference call. And then you just have this God awful fragmented audio of Joe Biden. And then eventually they ended up just handing him an iPhone <laughs> with the speaker turned on. Well, so he es was just Esther holding it. Esther came in there for a How second and Esther was yeah. just a green wall. Yeah. How long did they take to pivot? Uh, three, four minutes, and they did that, and then at the end they just took it all down and then refilmed it and put it yeah. up as a pre-recorded thing. But...